Okay, hi there, and welcome to this guide, how to land uh, an airplane with an ILS landing system. I'm going to explain you how to uh, proceed to a nice ILS landing uh, on IFR. So, uh, first of all, ILS means uh, Instrumental Landing System, and um, it should be uh, landing the plane automatically uh, without any uh, manual help. So first of all, uh, every uh, runway uh, equipped with ILS landing system has a frequency. You can find this uh, by popping up your card and um, look at the uh, green arrow uh, pointing to the uh, runway. So in this case, in this case, I'm having an approach on Amsterdam Echo Hotel Alpha Mike uh, Airport, runway 18 right. Um, and you can see this over here on your map. Um, just look at the green arrow oh right over here. Uh, slide your mouse over it, and you should see uh, one one zero decimal one zero for the ILS frequency. Okay, remind this frequency one one zero decimal one zero, and go back to your plane. Now uh, pop up your radio stack by pressing Shift two, or just do it manually in the virtual cockpit. And go to the active nav one um, indicator and put one one zero decimal one zero in the active box. Um, by switching from box, you can change the active or standby. So make sure it's in the active one 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 zero decimal one zero. Okay, I'm about twenty nautical miles um, north of the airport, and uh, my airplane should now uh, receive the ILS frequency uh, from the runway, and I can tune this on by pressing the nav1 identification um, just press it and it should light up green and you should have some morse signs uh, long 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 short long short long i think and uh, that means your airplane has made contact with the ILS frequency from the 18 right runway uh, that means you can turn on um, the autopilot uh, and its approach function so go to your autopilot block and uh, do the right settings. Um, as you can see, I'm flying 220 miles uh, uh, knots an hour. Uh, that's uh, right approach speed. Uh, I'm going to get this down to about 140 for um, the landing. Uh, you should have yourself lined up with the runway. In this case, 18 right, 183. That's uh, right heading. And uh, my altitude is about 2,500 feet above uh, the ground. Uh, make sure your speed is on, your heading is on, um, your vertical speed and your altitude button is on, and the autopilot, of course. Uh, okay, uh, adjust flaps and adjust landing gear for landing speed, uh, etc. And um, well, that's it. Uh, that's all you need for landing. Make sure the GPS nav button is on nav. That means um, you're not flying on a GPS, but just on the ILS. Um, auto brakes on RTO or off one two three as you like, and uh, that's all you need for landing. Um, just to make sure on your artificial horizon, you can see uh, two uh, red bulbs or rose bulbs, and that means your position uh, from the runway. You can see the uh, horizontal uh, rose bulb um, sliding left and right, and when it's at in the middle, centered up with uh, your autopilot, uh, that means that you you're lined up with the runway. The vertical uh, red bulb means the your position and your distance to the glide slope, so it should uh, slide down and uh, reach uh, the horizon about here, and it should uh, turn off automatically your altitude hold button, and it should make a smooth uh, slide towards the runway. Anyway, I'm going to make this approach right now. Um, just look at what I'm doing. Um, do not turn off the autopilot in any case. Um, it, it will just you will just drop out of the air and uh, you'll fail the ILS landing. So have a look at this. So as you can see, my distance to the airport is about uh, 16 nautical miles, and my speed is 200 knots an hour. Uh, heading is still on 183, and altitude 2500 feet above the ground. I just flaps 10 degrees, and I'm going to extend the landing gear in order to make a nice landing. So I can now um, activate the approach uh, function of the autopilot. So I turn off the heading, and I uh, activate the. APP approach and you see uh, the airplane is turning immediately to line itself up with the runway 
um, that means the red bulb should come uh, in the center center of the artificial horizon. Uh, you should m uh, look and watch to in order to keep the altitude button on active. So it should be lit up. Your speed should be lit up. The approach function should be lit up, and the autopilot should be lit up. This uh, so no heading and no nav. That's all. So as you can see, you can see uh, the glide slope coming down uh, right at the red, red bulb. So I extend my landing gear and uh, just some more flaps. And I also uh, reduce speed to 140 knots. Um, as I'm reaching the glide slope, it should turn off the autopilot altitude button immediately, automatically. As you can see, it's reaching the horizon about right now and you can see the altitude hold button turn off uh, in about a few seconds. Okay, it just turned off as you see, and that means it's right. Um, it's sliding down the glide slope automatically. I didn't do anything. So what you should see now is your speed button, uh, your approach button, and your autopilot button, and uh, nothing else. Uh, make sure. You get the right speed, I'm a little bit fast right now, uh, doesn't matter. And you should see the landing, the runway, uh, just in front of you. As you can see, the red bulb, the hor or, uh, horizontal red bulb is almost lined up and centered with um, the runway. And the red, or the, 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 how does it, how do you call this, the vertical red bulb is also sliding down um, the glide slope. Well, I'm flying a Boeing 747-400 from KLM, and um, it's very light. It's just 13% of fuel and almost no passengers, so it should be easy to land. So as you can see, my airplane is lined up with the runway, and I'm having the right approach speed. I adjust flaps, outer brakes, and uh, landing gear is extended. Um, just make sure and watch all over the instruments that's uh, that no one no instrument is turned off you should have your speed approach and autopilot on active <laughs> okay when you're about uh, one nautical miles from the runway uh, turn off uh, the speed or uh, you can uh, leave it on and uh, just do it let him do it himself. So when you touch the ground, you should turn off the autopilot and the speed in order to brake uh, fast enough uh, before you reach the end of the runway. So as you can see, I'm perfectly lined up with the runway, and I should turn off the autopilot at the moment I am landing. Which is about uh, within now and a few seconds. So, turn off the speed right now, speed is off, autopilot is off, and we landed. Spoilers, thrust reverse, and that should make the landing. Just turn off all the instrumental possibilities, so autopilot, speed, altitude, and it should uh, stop itself. Uh, well, that was the nice landing, uh, this is how you should ILS land in any airplane. Okay, this is chemistry. See you next time. Bye-bye.